to me. That moves us into Sunday's action. And let's go ahead and start with the early game. This one's on Fox. It's Vikings at Saints. The Saints are an eight-point favorite. And it's 12.05 p.m. I am... I, I was a little shocked that this line is eight. It, am I crazy for thinking that that's way too many points here? Uh, I mean, you can think that. That's fine. Well, so the... Uh, the prediction tracker analytics say that it should be 5.16. The so, Vikings have looked putrid lately. Yeah, the last two games, definitely. I, I don't think that they had well, anything really to play for. They, they had nothing to play for week 17, yeah. but in week 16 they did, and they played a team that I think is far inferior to the Saints. And, and had them at home. Yeah, and that was a game they had to win. They had to win that game. So – at this point, I'm I'm guessing it like the, just recency bias. Uh, the Saints should easily cover this, right? I I like the Saints here. I think they are the most complete team in the playoffs. I think they're the they're the most complete team in football right now, from top to bottom. They don't have a weakness. There's nothing they do bad, and they do something at every level. Really good to exceptional. Is is it a little absurd that they went thirteen and three and have to play in the wild card weekend? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm shocked. I, all year long, Green Bay, you know, baffled us on how they're continuing to win games when they just didn't look great. Yeah, any time they just looked like it was smoke and mirrors and all. But they but they ended up winning. They got the tiebreaker over the Saints, so they get to. The, the you know the, the bye week, but I think the Saints team's the best team in football in the NFC. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. Like I, I understand they got beat at home by the 49ers, but I think just looking at the team overall, uh, I think the Saints are the best team in football. Um, I I do wonder. I don't think there's a look ahead in the playoffs, so maybe not. I I just I feel like the Vikings are going to show up for this game. Like sure I, they are. Sure they are. It's a playoff game. What do you mean, are they going to show up? No, I mean, like because the last two weeks, like two weeks ago was a playoff game for them, basically, against the Packers. I, I and- think they showed up, and I think they got beat. I don't think Kirk Cousins is good enough to do this. I mean, this is a this is a prime spot. I don't know, I man. just I don't, don't – I don't think he's good enough to do it. That's just it. You, you I just don't. Do and I also remember – the, the the miracle in Minnesota, and and I don't think the Saints are just going to let anything like that happen. I think they're going to kick their ass. Now, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But this is the one game out of all three of these I don't think is going to be close. I think the other three are going to be one-score games that are going to be close. They could go any way at the, at the end of the game. This game, I don't see it. I see two touchdowns, and I think they're going to run away. Let's see. They lost twice to the Packers. They lost at the Bears. They lost at Kansas City. And I don't see a win over – like, they lost at Seattle. I don't see a a win over a good, a good team. team. Yeah, I just – maybe maybe you're right. So, and on, on top of that, uh, they're saying, let's see, Dalvin Cook is probable against uh, against New Orleans. Like, without him, this team is, is complete. They got no chance. Yeah. They are they are just done. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm going to lay the points. I'm laying the eight. And I'm not afraid of that at all. That's the only one out of all these that I feel great about. And to be fair, I mean New Orleans is eleven and five against the spread this year. Thirteen and three straight up. Uh, Minnesota ten and six straight up. Eight and eight against the spread. Uh, if you go and look, I mean Minnesota has had the better defense uh, as far as yards per play and points per game against. So the Vikings have had the better, yeah, and they've they've had more uh, more turnovers. They've had all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, the Vikings defense has been better, but I I think in this situation, I mean, I I do think that the the Saints are going to be amped up for this one. Yeah, you're you're probably right. I'm going to side. I'm they gonna, got I'm, to I'm play. They got to play the Bears twice. That helps those defensive stats. Yeah, the Saints. True. The Saints only got to play them once, and they got to play the Lions twice as well. Oh yeah, see there. 
Yeah, that, that I mean, you just got to look at who these teams play. As bad as Tampa Bay is, they're going to hurt your defensive numbers because they're going to put up yards. They're going to put up points. Yeah, and the Saints had you to know? play twice. Yeah. So, so Falcons offensively are pretty that's, good. That's true. You, that's true. I mean, it's, you can't just you just can't look at those things because they don't play equal schedules at all. Yeah. No, you're you're right. You're right. Okay. Um. The like I said, the analytics. Uh, that crowd says it should be Saints minus five point. Yeah, they, 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 they think this is three points different. Yeah. So, but I I, I think if Vegas is leaning this way, I, I kind of like Vegas' side. Uh, let's see, we've got, whew, all right, so offshore, 54% of the tickets are on uh, the Saints. And at Vegas, we've got 64% of the tickets on New Orleans, on the Saints. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a ride with that. I like it. So uh, we're both uh, we're both rolling Saints here, right? I am. All right. Sounds uh, you talked me into it. Nicely done. Nicely done. 